Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey. Welcome back, y'all already know for what, a quick little video. Now, oh, this story is just so much, but look, I've been saying that I was gonna actually do um, a video to this, but I just never did. So here goes. All right, so I wanna say it might have been one, last week, or I think it was this was last week. And Tasha K, I'm pretty sure all y'all know who Tasha K is. If not, she does a lot of um, stories with like the celebrities when it comes to like drama, um, interviews, all of that. So anyway, Tasha K decided to go ahead and do a interview with Brandy. Now I'm going to tell y'all right now, I can count on my hands how many times that I watched Bad Girls Club, all right? And it was about two. And the only person that I actually even remember watching it those two times was the girl Tanisha. That, that's it. And after that, I mean, like I said, I only watched it two times or whatever. So this girl is supposed to be Brandy. She is supposed to be in um, Bad Girls Club or whatever. And like I said, Tasha K was doing a interview on her. So she's doing a interview through FaceTime. Okay. So the interview is pretty, pretty much over. And then Brandy goes to tell her that she is being, um, basically um bullied because she said something about one of the other um cast members all right so at this time i guess tasha is supposedly on the phone and she basically was saying you know oh like you couldn't understand what she was saying because she was drinking so much liquor come to find out it was supposed to be like a really really big thing of liquor i mean huge and two bottles of um pills all right and y'all already got to look at it if you look at brandy you can already see that she's a small girl so that's going to affect her more because she's small a lot of times people don't know is that when you get your medication it is the dosage that you get is a lot of stuff that goes into it and your weight is one of them all right so she tells her she drinks the pill. You know, she tells her she drank the um, alcohol and then she downs the pills and Tasha, you know, see her do it or whatever. So Tasha said at this point, she is trying to call, call um, 911 over and over and over and she could not get through. So what Tasha decided to go ahead and do, y'all, she took it to social media. Now, was that a good decision to make? No, it wasn't. Because at this point, when you decided to take this through social media, now everyone is in her business. And now everyone can judge her. And she already is through stress. You get what I'm saying? So she is not going to be good with that. All right. So she said that she called them and called them. They switched her over to 800 numbers. And then finally, after 20 minutes, she got them. So this young lady has taken all of this and after 20 minutes, she finally got them. Now, allegedly, this is what happened. Allegedly, this is also what was said. What was said was the actual address that she put on social media that you guys saw was actually an empty house. The house was up for sale. So right there, people ask me, you know what I mean? When I got the emails, they were saying how you feel about it. I mean, I can't say how I feel about it because right now it's too many discrepancies. You get what I'm saying? Way too many. All right. So she walks into, you know what I mean? The kitchen. She falls face down. And supposedly the father picked up the phone and hung up on her. And basically the first things that he actually said was, I always have to call the police every time here and hung up. She said she called back again, a total of nine times and still did not get anyone. So the last time she called, I guess somebody, um, you know, picked up the phone or whatever. Uh, Tasha K said she called her sister and you know her mother. And that's what I'm saying. It's too many discrepancies with this. You mean to tell me that you are doing an actual interview, y'all. Listen, listen to me clearly. 
And when you're doing that interview, you know the mother's phone number, you know the sister's phone number, the dad has picked up the phone and said he isn't ha helping. The mother you have called and she hasn't answered nine times and you are on the other end saying you don't know what type of mother would do that. So you guys, that is where it leads me. All right. This, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I can't tell you which side of the fence that I'm on. I will say I do like Tasha K. But me telling the truth and my opinion and how I feel, it has nothing to do with me liking Tasha K. All right. And it shouldn't have anything to do with you, you people, the subscribers and stuff like that. Because again, this is allegedly and you don't know what actually happened. All right. So. And on top of that, like I said, and you know, the girl's address. For you to get a FaceTime video, you mean to tell me you got to know the address? So, like I said, that was really, really, really weird. I deleted the video. I deleted, I put the video on private because when I called her on FaceTime, the guy, her stepdad that she's living with, had finally, I guess he went to the other room because at first he told me to fuck off. He didn't want to, he didn't want to call 911. He was like, lady, who are you? And so finally he called 911. So when I called her back, the paramedics were surrounding her. So let me tell y'all what happened. I apologize for doing this. I don't ever do this, but I was on the phone literally for 20 minutes getting transferred all over California after she took pills. So uh, Brandy from Bad Girls Club, um, we're doing a FaceTime interview uh, using my phone. She's very intoxicated. She's crying. Um, I think she was like in season five and she's like, you know, Tasha, I've been getting bullied all day because of something that I said about another cast member. So she, I can, I'm, I'm talking to her. I can tell like, of course she's really drunk. So I asked her what she had been drinking and she showed me the bottle and she, the bottle was finished. It was like a bottle like this of like, I don't know, it was brown liquor and she was drinking some juice behind it. So she just kept talking. I mean, she was saying everything. She was kind of all over the place. And so as I'm about to wrap up, she says, I want to die. And I say, no, don't say that. You know, you're just going to wake up tomorrow. Then she proceeds to pick up the pills, two bottles of medication, I guess that she's on for anxiety and stuff like that. I don't know but she downed both of the pills while we were on FaceTime live. And she drank it with the remaining, I guess, portion of the alcohol. And so when she did that, I'm trying to tell her, stop, stop. You know, at first I'm like, she's not really doing this. And then when I saw that they were actually prescription pills is when I was like, Brandy, I said, stop. She took the pills. And so I hang up to call 911. They said they couldn't transfer me, so they gave me 1-800 numbers. So I'm calling 1-800 numbers, I'm getting uh, transferred around, and then finally I got to L.A. County. L.A. County had me on hold. I was on hold with L.A. County for at least seven minutes. Now, mind you, this is 20 minutes past, and she's down two full bottles of prescription medications with uh, alcohol. And so I finally call back. I just hang up at L.A. County, and I call her back. And at this time, she's like, her sister's number, her mom literally picked up and hung up the phone in my face. I don't know what type of mom that is, but I would not pick up if somebody calling me telling me my daughter just OD'd and hang up in a person's face. And I called all nine times. So, so she managed to walk into the kitchen and she fell on her face in the kitchen. And her stepdad was in there. I said, sir, Please call 911. All he was saying was, lady, who are you? I don't know you, lady. I said, sir, please call 911. She just drank a full bottle of alcohol and two bottles of pills. By this time, she was on the floor. He told me, I'm tired of the police coming to my house. And he left. So that's when I got online to tell y'all to please call 911 because I could not get through. Her family just completely just shut down. And so I guess... Like when I got off the line with y'all, I called back. So where this story gets even more weirder, you, you feel me, is the fact that the young lady, Brandy, Tasha Kay said that she called her 
the next day, the very next day. And she called her and thanked her for saving her life. Now that right there, y'all, stuck out to me some more. Because like I said, my mom owns group homes and things of that nature. So suicide and all that attempts and stuff, they kind of don't work that way at all. And I'm going to tell you how it kind of works. So when she would have took that overdose, they took it to the hospital, pumped her stomach, whatever, whatever, whatever. The next day, Brandy, she wasn't thinking of calling nobody to say thank you for saving my life. The first thing she is thinking is, damn, it didn't work. The second is, I am pissed. The third is, I am looking real crazy out here to YouTube. The, I mean, and then after that, more, it's like, okay, I am in an actual TV show. Now, all these people have seen this. She said that she put out our address. That, that's what she said. All over the place. To hundreds and thousands of people. Which I thought, even if it was the actual real, real address, her dad or her mom can actually sue Tasha K. Because you cannot put out someone's address over social media to hundreds and thousands and thousands of people. Look at Tasha's subscriber count. Come on now. But yet, this young lady picked up the phone next day. So here's the call, Tasha and Brandy. Brandy calls Tasha the very, very next day. Well, here's how this call is going to actually go. Just like this. Ring, ring, Tasha. Hello, Brandy. Hello, how you doing, Tosh? Um, I just wanted to call and, you know, inform you that I want to say thank you for staying on the phone with me. I want to say thank you for giving out my address to hundreds and thousands of people to help save me from committing, you know, suicide. I mean, I just really owe everything to you. Everything. I owe my whole heart to you. That's the worst bullshit that I ever had heard. Now, hey, maybe so, but whatever. So here's Tasha. Brandy, all that matters now is that you were okay. But yeah, can we please still finish that interview? <laughs> Y'all already out fucking fool. But anyway, yeah, so I mean, it was just crazy to me. Like, I'm like, okay, one minute I believe Tasha, the next minute I don't. One minute I believe Tasha again, the next minute I don't. So I gotta say, y'all, I don't know what the hell to believe, but it is so many discrepancies. You get what I'm saying? That I mean, I just don't understand. I don't know no mother that, um, would say they are not going to answer the phone, that just don't answer the phone, and their child is trying to commit suicide. I don't know, y'all, but down in the comments, y'all, let me know how you feel, and y'all already know, I will see you guys in the next video. Later.